Today, we're gonna talk about color calibration in your monitors and why it's so important. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on Flurn com where we make learning fun. And today's episode is all about monitor calibration. So here's the deal. We've been getting questions on our YouTube channel and Instagram and Twitter forever. Like, how do you do monitor calibration? What's important? What device should I get? I wasn't sure how important this really was. So with all these questions coming in, I called up Data Color and I was like, hey, will you guys sponsor an episode? Send us one of your color calibrators and we'll tell people what we think of it. And they were like, yeah, sounds good to us. And I was like, all right, but this thing doesn't work for that much, I'm gonna tell them that too. And they were like, yeah, totally, fine. That's kind of the whole idea here. We're, we got this really cool thing. It's a, it's called the Data Color Spider 5 Elite. And uh, we're just gonna show you guys what this thing actually did. And a little spoiler alert here, it actually works really well. So my main interest in calibrating my monitors comes from the fact that I work on a bunch of different computers and some of those computers have multiple monitors. Sometimes I'm editing photos on my laptop. Sometimes I'm editing photos for these tutorials and that's on a desktop. And then I do all my professional editing on another computer and that computer has three different monitors, which I know is ridiculous, but one of them I bought like six years ago and the other one's a couple years old and the other one's a little bit newer. So the color between those three monitors and my other computer and my laptop is completely inconsistent. And sometimes I'll edit images on one computer and I'll look at them on another one and they're like totally different colors. And I'm like, which one is right? If I send these images to a client, is it gonna look horrible to them? And is that my fault? As a photographer and as a retoucher, that was one thing that's like drove me crazy. I was just basically relying on, you know, my newest, nicest display to be right. But through this test, I found out that actually none of my displays were right. So, hey, good to know. Now, if you're just taking pictures for fun, it probably doesn't matter that much how accurate your colors are. But as soon as you start working with clients, your colors really need to be right, especially if you're working with a brand that has consistent coloring. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about the spider thing and see if it actually works. Okay guys, so here's the deal. Data Color sent us this Spider 5 Elite to test out. And when you open it up, this is a lens cap here. And on this side, you actually have color sensors. Now there's software included with this thing. And basically what the software does is it flashes a bunch of different colors on your screen. And then this sensor here measures those colors coming out of your monitor. The software calibrates what your display is putting out versus what it should be putting out and all those colors get changed within the software and that's what creates the calibration that makes your colors actually right. Unlike regular calibration where you just kind of like adjust settings on your screen, this thing actually measures what's coming out of your screen. So you're getting the real live output and it's being tested against what should be coming out of your monitor. So instead of just being inside of the program, it's measuring both inside and outside. Setup takes just a couple of minutes. Basically, you just download the drivers from their website, install the thing, plug it into the USB, dangle it over your computer, and hit the go button. It really is pretty simple. I was a little bit skeptical, like, okay, how well is this thing gonna work? And when it finished the whole process, it gives you these before after images, and you can even test your own images on this as well. And it's pretty obvious, we'll show you guys this right now, that the three monitors that I use on a daily basis, they were totally off. One of them, which is like a gateway, it's like, this is a six year old monitor, crazy off and adjusting the settings on the monitor, I could not get it to look like the other monitors that I used. Even my like pretty nice, I have an Apple Thunderbolt display that was like, I don't know, a thousand dollars or something. The reds on that were totally off. Now, why is this important? Because people's skin has a lot of red in it. So basically skin tones on my computer were looking kind of like green and just a little bit washed out, which means that what I've probably been doing is overcompensating them, making a little bit more red than they actually should be. So they're showing up everywhere in the world and in prints as more red because my monitor wasn't properly calibrated. The other thing that was annoying me was that my colors were totally different from one monitor to the other. And here you can clearly see that this gateway, it's like crazy contrast, super saturation, and this is after I tried to adjust all the settings to get it as close as possible. The software was able to get it way closer than anything I was able to do inside of the monitor itself. And I even tried the software within the Apple computers that comes with the computers and it did nowhere near the same job. So I went around and did this with basically all the monitors in our studio. Did the laptop, did the other computer that I work on, and now they're all consistent from one to another, which is a huge relief. I've always stayed away from editing on my laptop, but now I'm like, yeah, actually I think 
think I probably could edit colors on my laptop because I trust what's actually coming out of these things. Now, the only thing that I want now, honestly, is I, I wish I could calibrate my iPhone with this. I wish I could calibrate my TV with this. Like, I'm, a, I'm like a nerd. I'm like a color person. So like, I want things to be right. So now I'm like, damn, I wish I could just calibrate everything with this thing. All right, guys. So that's basically the idea behind color calibration and my total honest review. So at the beginning, I wasn't sure whether uh, this thing was going to work. I wasn't sure whether I would like it. But after doing just a couple monitors, I was like, yeah, this is this is really cool. The other thing that I found out in kind of like researching all this is that monitors lose brightness after time. Like every couple of months, you lose a little bit of brightness on your monitor. So you actually have to recalibrate. So even if your monitor is like, you got a brand new monitor and you're like, boom, this is like really great colors chances are in six months, the color and the lights are gonna degrade on that monitor, and which basically means it needs to be recalibrated again. So within the software, it gives you a little reminder like every month or every couple months, like, hey, recalibrate your software. Again, you just plug this thing in, put it right on your screen. It just takes a couple of minutes. So I'm totally sold. And uh, yeah, again, I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about this whole thing, but um, yeah, I'm into it. So that's it for our review slash information slash why you probably should be calibrating your monitors. If you liked this episode, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments right down below because we're like heck we'd love to work with different brands especially if they're going to send us stuff and especially if it works because i'm like you know what i'm just going to test this stuff out here and if it works really great i'm going to tell you about it and if it doesn't work really great i'm going to tell you about it too so if you guys want to see more episodes like this let us know in the comments right down below thanks so much guys i'll flirt you later bye everyone raving reviews from aaron and welcome to the raven review with aaron <laughs> Hey there, and welcome to the Raven Review. I'm your host, Aaron Nace. <laughs> Calibrate your monitor.